Good evening. A really late good evening as it's quarter to 11. So I usually don't make a video this late, but I kind of got sidetracked, then I got lazy, then I got sidetracked some more, then I watched the Red Green Show. Yeah, and... Yeah, no, I just lost my train of thought. I guess you, see, you could see that I got derailed. All the spillage is in my head. So, yeah, so, um... So I played game five of the 1970 quarterfinals, and... Amazing, the entire vacation and this entire first round so far. All day games. I think I might have had one night game. That was on Wednesday, but the rest of them are all day games. Which is okay, I, I gotta take advantage of my holidays at some point. So... A little late news from last night. Oh, well, Winnipeg beat Calgary. Barely. I mean, barely. Calgary's not a great not a good team by any stretch but Winnipeg barely beat them but the late new the late news I forgot about yes it was the passing of Rick Jennerette the former Buffalo Sabres the long time Buffalo Sabres play by play by play by play guy la 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 Fontaine and Mayday Mayday and Wowie Housley energetic calls though I mean, he knew he knew he got out of the game though quite easy. Was he was he a bit of a homer? Well, yeah. Well, he called the game with such energy; it was such a joy a treat to listen to. The May the May Day call was nineteen ninety three division semifinals between Boston and Buffalo. Sabres fans will remember this if they were around that long. Sabres were up three games to nothing in the series, and they just needed one more win to take out Boston. So Boston had led most of the game. Did Boston go up, then Buffalo come back to tie it. Boston went up five to three. Buffalo managed to come back to tie it at five. The game goes into overtime. I forget how far into the overtime it goes, but Lafontaine has a puck around center ice. He just as he's falling backwards, he's passing it to Bo. Bob May. Yeah, was, I think it was Bob May. May, May digs out Ray Bork, and then he dig, digs out Mandy Moog long enough for Moog can't do anything, and just May just shoots it over Andy Moog and into the net, and crowds lose, crowds going crazy. Buffalo just knocks out Boston and over in for a straight and. Right, Jennerette's yelling, Mayday, Mayday. It should, it's on you. Some of his calls are on YouTube. Go look it up. Is there are some of his calls on YouTube? So, yeah. So, Jennerette joined the Sabres in the 71 72 season, which is the second season. And the thing is, their fifth season, they get to the, their first 70 Stanley Cup finals against Philadelphia. Lost in six. Yeah, the fog game. And the nineteen ninety nine they lose in lose to Dallas. Yeah, I'm kidding. Yeah, at the end of the season I'm doing now. League goes from twelve to fourteen and then Buffalo's one of the teams. The other being Vancouver. Segwaying into that and 1970 quarterfinals. Boston is up 3-2 three, three, on the Rangers. St. Louis is up 3-2 on many. And as I mentioned, I'm finishing these quarterfinals on Sunday, which would be my last day of vacation, which is great. That's absolutely crazy how I end up planning that. I think I'm good. I don't know how the hell that happened, but... Hmm. I don't know how that happened. Oh, there we go. It's gone now. It's all... Something weird got... Uh, happened on the side of my camera there. Then my vacation, I think, was started on the 11th. Ends on Sunday, which is the 20th. 
That's about two, four, six, eight, ten dates. And I started 1970 on the 12th. So, it's crazy how that ends up working out, but... Which means I start the semifinals on Tuesday. I'm going to go Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Probably Monday for... For game four, and I'm going to go... Thursday, Saturday again, the 31st and the 2nd of September. There's a series go, there's a semi files one series goes four and the other goes six, which helps. So, 1970 Stanley Cup finals. If you were, if you were around that long, it's it was Bobby Orr. That's all I gotta say Bobby Orr in game four. That's it. That's how I ended up finishing up. That came four was pretty close. I don't know how close the rest of the series was games wise, but Boston is still ended up sweeping St. Louis. It's amazing St. Louis and the Blues in twelve straight Stanley Cup Finals games. Four and sixty eight, four and sixty nine, four and seventy. They don't make the Stanley Cup Finals again until twenty nineteen and end up winning it. So that's how that went. So yeah, so in amongst all that, I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, got myself my veggie lasagna, my favorite lasagna, and I and it, my favorite lasagna. I didn't have to go to Shoppers to get it. I mean, Walmart's got lasagna. It's just. So how kind of fussy I am with my lasagnas, I suppose. So that's how that went. So no, I did not go to Mr. Mike's tonight because, because no. I think I may have a Thursday tradition though, so. Mm -hmm. So I may work on that one next week. Maybe. And a uh, fair bit of yakking this whole time. And it's almost flipping bedtime. It is actually almost flipping bedtime. So, time to call it a night. So, in the meantime, and in between time, stay tuned for the next one.